giving you. No, I'm not. I'm willing to listen to your answer, which you won't even give. What is, where does truth, morals, meaning, and beauty, where do they come from? It's a, it's a process of constant, we don't know the ultimate answer yet, but we continue to figure it out. And when you right. say that one text right. has all so you answers, don't know. of course not. You don't know Neither, either, you're just pretending you do. No, no, hold on. That's a, that's a knowledge claim. That what you just did there is contradict what you just said. Mm. When you just said, neither do you, that's a knowledge claim. That's not, a, that's, not, that's not an agnostic position. That's a knowledge claim. So now do you want to take back your worldview and start over again? Because I, now you're I, making I, I knowledge claims. I don't know what you're saying. What's the argument you're making? Now listen carefully again. You are making knowledge claims as an agnostic. Am I like, wrong about that? Like I'm claiming that I know things. No, I'm not claiming that I know things. I don't, I don't, like, Is it true that you're not claiming that you know things? Not everybody knows everything because nobody Is it true that not everybody knows everything? Nobody can be absolutely certain about anything. Is I it true that nobody can be absolutely knowledge. certain about everything? No. Is it true that the answer is no? The answer to what? That, what you just said to my question. Not everybody. Yeah, for sure. Nobody can be absolutely certain about anything. Is it true? Be certain that, enough well, hold on a second. Hold on a second. So, is it absolutely true that no one can know anything for certain? Think about the absurdity of what this gentleman is in at this point. It's, is it absolutely true that no? I didn't say nobody can know. I'm saying nobody does know at the moment. That's, That's a knowledge claim. That's, That's a knowledge claim. How do you know that, sir? How do you know that the Bible is true? Hold on, so, sir. You just made a knowledge claim right after you said we can't know for certain. So, so okay, so I think you're doing, what, are you talking about the paradox of like... This is what happens to you when you deny your creator, folks. You say things like, I know for certain that we don't know anything for certain. You're just playing a childish game with language. No, I'm not. Yeah, I'm using okay. logic Here's and what, okay, reason. So this is the paradox of like, oh, there are no absolute truth claims. And then somebody says, but that's an absolute truth claim, right? Yep, that's right. There it's called an infinite implied, regress. The implied thing is that the only absolute truth is that there are no absolute truths. Like, that's, that's the right. implication. Yes, sir. It's called an app. In philosophy, it's called an infinite regress. And it's a problem of truth in many minds. So you created God. You can also do an infinite that's regress. A fall, that's, a, that's a logical fallacy. God is eternal. There is no creation. The universe is, is eternal. Creation is a creaturely word. Hold on a second. Creation is a creaturely category. It doesn't apply to the eternal God of the Bible. Sorry. The universe is eternal. Keep the sidewalks clear. Everybody here for uh, the dean of students coming through, please. And for everyone. I always get corrected for that part. And for everyone. Not just for the dean of students. For safety. That's right. For safety. So, so once again, we have an agnostic student before us who is telling us, he, number one, he doesn't know anything for certain, and he's told us nobody does. On multiple occasions, he has said yeah. no one knows anything. For, but see, when he says no one knows anything, he could just say no one knows X. That is no longer agnosticism. Now, that's a knowledge claim. I mean, you could be an adult. I could be an adult and say there's a small possibility that other people might know something for certain, which is why I keep asking but you, you would know what it. is the But evidence. you would not know it. What do you mean I would not know it? Because you're agnostic. You wouldn't know if someone knows something for certain. The thing is, I could Don't solve, you see how I could solve this problem sounds? you're presenting to me huh? by just saying I have faith without believing in the Bible in particular. I, like, I don't that. have to go to the Bible to solve this problem. If you're saying I need to take for granted... Of course you do, because those. without God you can't know anything for certain and you've proven it to us time again. The more you keep talking, the more you validate my point. The claim that you know God is also a knowledge. It's like Shakespeare said, fast and furious signifying nothing. That's and if that's all you are, and if that's all you are, why engage in a conversation about absolute truth? I'm not engaging in a conversation. I'm saying you. Do well, you not, are. I'm asking you for evidence over you're and over here. again that you have absolute truth. Because if you <laughs> take what you're saying is true, that gay people are going to go to hell, that X, Y, and Z people are going to go to hell, acting on that would require berating people, ruining their quality of life while we're here right now, fucking with them, ruining friendships. So yeah, I think you have to be pretty certain of that. And I'm saying maybe we can yep. all be grown up. And, and you've admitted. Sure. And you've admitted it's possible that I can't know these things because in your worldview. You don't know. So if you don't know, then it is. Then you have to yeah. allow for the possibility that what I'm saying is true, and that what I'm and, what, and, and that I know these things. Impossible. And so what I'm saying is that 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 area of your agnosticism, that it is possible for me to know that my worldview is true. Number one, and number two, that the things I'm saying are true. Is I'm saying, yeah, yeah, that's my reality. Thank you. What? That it's possible. That no, you're no, right? no. That that in your worldview, the fact that it is possible that I do know things for certain, that is true. And you cannot, in your agnostic worldview, prove that it's not. So thank you for, thank you for the sure conversation. Point. I'm saying that you don't have any evidence to affirm that we should absolutely as an agnostic, the Bible. As an agnostic, what, what good is evidence if you, can't know it, if you can't know it to be true? What do you mean what good is evidence if you can't know it to be true? Sir, 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 sir. As an agnostic, what you're saying is we can't know truth for certain. Right? Yeah. 
So if I present you with evidence, you would know it to be true. It's not about, knowing, it's not about it? knowing for sure. It's about, okay, you're saying we should act a certain way because X things are true. So if you're saying, like, I should walk in that well because it's not a lava chasm, I don't have to be 99.99% yeah. certain that I have extraordinary evidence. It's common fucking sense. It, it could be, it, watch your language, please. A, a, any, any evidence, any evidence at all, it doesn't have to be that elaborate. It can be any evidence whatsoever. But in an agnostic worldview, evidence itself is unknowable. It's not about knowing for sure. It's about knowing enough to I'm be able saying to it's not about knowing anything. No, no, no. All you need to do is know it be certain. Probability is your something. probability is your worst nightmare. If this is a pie of all knowledge, how much of it do you have? Very small amount. Just like exactly. You. So probability is something so infinitely removed from the realm of your knowing. Because you could say this: I know A because of B. Watch this carefully. I know A because of B. I know B because of C. I know C because of D. Don't you understand what's going on there? What you do is you have an infinite regression where you never you arrive at truth. You just make as the A in that scenario. That's I don't just make that. And you say that it's so just here's my argument. you're still saying God is A in yes. that scenario. If you